The loneliest moment in someone's life is when they are watching their whole world fall apart and all they can do is stare blankly. The way I found out, he called me on the phone and said, this is your soon-to-be ex-husband. Um, if you want to talk, meet me in the, at the house. I've already told Kaylin, he's at a friend's, and we can talk. And so he told me, this is how it's going to be. I have a lawyer. You know, I've got you a good offer. You, you should be getting the papers next week. And when I walked in, he had cleaned out living rooms and walls, pictures, things were just gone. So I was in shock. I just was in shock. I was in shock on the way home. I started shaking. I don't think I stopped shaking for nine months. I lost, I went down to 102 pounds. I was, I was a wreck. I was like, this is my whole life, my whole identity. I had become a shadow of who I am. Sitting, so many nights sitting in my living room, just crying. My son couldn't be, stay with me because I was, you know, so distraught. I was just so distraught. My life was just falling apart. You know, I was losing my home. I was losing, you know, my family. And my confidence was so low, you know, I, I didn't even know where to start. I wouldn't do anything without Chris's approval permission before. I just felt so unworthy. It was bad enough, you know, my ex-husband had left me for a 20-year-old. I just was, like, devastated. It was just devastating. My whole world had been, you know, shattered, and, you know, I don't really want to say, yeah, you know, I saw those sleeping pills by my bed, and but I wouldn't do that. I just couldn't do that, you know. But you thought, sometimes think it sure would be easier than struggling, struggling, struggling. That's all I felt like I did for so long until Jobs Partnership. I just felt like it was showing, God was showing me a sign that this was the place. What brought me to Jobs Partnership was uh, when I was at Grace Medical, because I had finally through uh, church found out about Grace Medical where I could get prescriptions for Kaylin, for his asthma and his allergy and for my migraines. And I didn't have insurance with my part-time, you know, jobs. And I saw the sign for Jobs Partnership. You know, I'd been to temp agencies where they told me I was not marketable. And I had had so many, you know, disappointments that I felt like Nobody wants me, nobody, you know, I'm not worthy, I'm less than. But I kept th saying, I've gotta be, there's gotta be somebody, you know, something that I can do. There's gotta be something that I can find. There's got to be, I kept having that hope and praying, you know, God, show me the way. <laughs> when Deborah started the class, it was apparent that she had virtually no self-esteem. Life had kicked her around and kicked her down to the point that she was at the bottom. She was fearful, fearful of the jobs partnership process, fearful of her own ability to accomplish it, and she really didn't have self-esteem. And it was wonderful to see the change over those 12 weeks. Everybody was full. There was just so much love in that room and so much care. You really look forward to going to class because it's like a shot in the arm. It's just somebody telling you, yes, you are worthy. Yes, you are, you have potential. Yes, you are good and you are, uh, you know, worthy. It just made you feel whole again and human again. It was such a safe, non-judgmental environment that for her, it was a secure place and she thrived in it. It was a place where she could thrive, be herself and grow. Having the job at Florida Hospital just has given me so much more stability in my life because I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm, you know, I'm developing skills that can take me all kinds of places. My future at Florida Hospital, I'm hoping for very good things. I know there's a lot of different career paths that I can take. Um, besides just the billing, um, I'd really like to get into something where I was helping 
people, either elderly people with their bills or I don't know if I'd be better in a customer service field, but I just know I'm good with people. So I'm looking forward to, you know, a, a good uh, journey with them. The jobs partnership definitely gave me, you know, so much hope. And even after when I'm interviewing, I'm still going, oh gosh, you know, is this going to work? I'm just going to end up going back to retail. I'm going to have to work two jobs, maybe three. But, you know, now I do have hope that someday Caitlin will get to school. It's kind of like eating an elephant one bite at a time. But that's kind of how I went through my days for seven years, one bite at a time, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. Jobs never gives up. They just don't seem to give up. They have this unfailing faith in you. And that's, that was what I needed.